Hey, it's Jeremy here. Today we're going to be doing a resume template in Illustrator CC. Um, it's probably better to do it in InDesign, but you can do it in Illustrator as well. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you my old resumes that I used to have. And I'll show you the evolution over the years. So you can see this is my first ever resume or CV, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's pretty bad. It was done in Word. <laughs> it's, um, but you know, you got to start from somewhere. And you can see this is my second proper resume. Because if you're a designer, you've got to show yourself as a designer. It's got to be relevant. You've got to show sort of some skills, but don't overcrowd it. Make sure you, you always simplify and keep it clean and legible. I moved on to these. This was really a template that I used, but it's okay to um, use templates as long as you adjust it um, to your skill set and adjust it to your, your personality. And this was the fourth one. And then I kept that, that layout and just reiterated it and made it more cleaner and simple. So as you can see, um, you know, my first resume was pretty bad, but over the time you learn, you get better and you start creating um, a better resume for yourself to make sure you stand out as a good designer. So right now we're just going to go to Illustrator and just go to File New, Start a New Document. We're just going to call you this uh, resume, or we'll call it my resume. And we're just going to go to Custom Profile Print because you might want to print this later. We're going to go to Size, we're going to go to A4 and make sure it's set to millimeters. So if you want to send this off to the printer, like it'll be readable and it's easier to understand. And we might put the bleed up to three mils because that's usually the standard. So we've got that, CMYK, um, yep, and all good, just press OK. So now you can see we've created this bleed on the right hand, um, hand side, you can see um, this red line, that's the bleed marker. So when you print it off, um, the printer has to trim a certain mils off so it doesn't, um, so the sides don't get cut off. So, but we're probably going to have a white background, but um, it's just good to do it at the start so you get the specifications right. So right now we've got the, we've got the artboard and now we're going to start developing our resume. So the first things first, the main um, core things you should have on your resume are um, your intro, like a little story about who you are. You should have your contact. Um, make sure it's easy to get to because not all the directors you're sending your resume to might have time to read it and go through the whole thing. Um, you should have like social links because we live in a social world right now so they, they want to see um, what you're doing in your online presence. You want to have show your experience and accolades and or awards. Um, those are the most important things. You can add stuff like education and references but it's not as important um, as you think it is these days because some people are just self-taught and they have a really good portfolio. So you just got to take that into account. So now we're just going to jump into it. I've done some sketches um, which I'll pop up. Um, for a second and you'll see what I've just done. Just did some layouts and just organizing elements around and stuff like that. So first up, you want to have your image or a picture of yourself. But before that, we're actually going to create guides. So control R, get the rulers up. And I'm just going to drag these out. Uh, I'm going to create a new layer. Just call it guides. And then I'm going to unlock this by control alt semicolon, select these and then I'm just going to center them with the align tool. to the artboard. Make sure it's aligned to the artboard. So now I can see my center lines, which is good. And then I'm just going to lock it. Uh, control, uh, control alt semicolon, or control option semicolon. There we go. Sweet. So we've got our guides up and let's make a new layer and call it design. And now we're just going to create a circle by pressing our ellipse tool. And as you can see, I'm just dragging out, holding alt and shift. And then I'm just going to bump up the stroke. Maybe make it a bit less, five strokes. And you always want to have your image in the center or at the top. You've got to think of hierarchy, how you're going to lay it out. Your most important information at the top. And then as you go down, um, the less important stuff goes at the bottom. So we're going to have our image in here. I'm just going to press Control Shift P. That's going to place. And I'm going to place my image. Uh, I'm just going to get my photos. So I'm just going to put my image like this. And what we're going to do, we're going to create a clipping mask because we want our image to fit within this circle. So I'm just going to make this smaller. And now what I'm going to do is um, press Control C, Control F on this circle. So we made a copy of it. And now I'm going to select, hold Shift, select the image and press Control 7 or Command 7. And then you can see it's made a clipping mask and now that image is in a circle. If we want to move the image slightly, what we can do is press the Direct Select tool with A. So you press A. You can see you've got the direct select tool. You can select it and you can move the image without moving the circle. Like that, really simply. But if you want to move the overall circle and the image, then you press um, just the selection tool, V, and you can just move the whole clipping mask away. 
But I just want to leave it like that. And I'm just going to send it to the back by pressing Control Shift and Square Bracket. So there we go. We've got our image. So that's going to be look nice. Now I might, I'm thinking of just doing like a ribbon, something just really simple. Just dragging a square with the marquee tool, pressing M for the shortcut. And I'm just going to put a fill on this. And you can see how I'm using my guides to make sure everything's centered. I'm just going to press P, create a point, make sure it's in the center. Just drag this out. I'm going to select that, press O for reflect tool. And I'm going to go in the middle and press Alt. And then we're going to reflect this just like that. So we've got this like cool little ribbon. It seems a bit short, but that's okay. So we've got our, we've got our image, we've got our main head up um, bit. And now we're going to start um, throwing in some elements. So we're going to be putting um, at the top our contact or we're going to put what we are. So if you're a designer or a junior designer or animator, whatever you are, we're going to put it up the top here just so people know uh, like what you do. So let's press T for the type tool. I'm going to type in, um, say, freelance graphic designer. Just typing this out. But obviously, you'll be something different for whatever you do. And I'm going to be change the font to, we'll go Ridley. This font's pretty cool. So I'm make it semi bold. I think I want to go and add a bit of warp on it. I'm going to go object envelope distort make it with warp. Um, it can create an arc, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to drag it to the bottom like this. No, you don't want to do too much because it'll distort it too much. Around 20% is okay. So I can make it smaller if I want. Like that. It looks a bit off, but you know, you can always play around with it and do whatever you want with a with your design. So now we're just going to start adding, we're going to add skills, actually we'll go add a uh, story or about me. Just keep it simple. Make sure if you're going to print this you keep the sizing right. As you can see I'm just like blowing things up making it smaller as I go but ob obviously if you're going to print it, you're gonna, things are going to be certain sizes and you should never go um, below 6.5 points if you're going to print it because then you can't read it. So I'm just delete that. I'm gonna quickly just go through here. I'm just holding Shift and Alt just to copy um, the text. Um, let's go. I'm I'm Jeremy, a designer. My designer who crafts. <clears throat> I'm just gonna make this up as I go. Who crafts uh, effective? Whoa for big brands cool so that's like my little story my little like line and make sure you have some hierarchy gonna change this to regular and then drop the size real quick control shift and um, less than so that drops the size makes it like that these two are separate text boxes so you're gonna make sure that you, you gotta drag and hold shift to make sure it's aligned so now I've got this and now I'm just going to hold this and duplicate it so I don't have to re redo it. But before that, I'm going to just change the title because I want this to be uppercase. Uh, the quick way to do this is you, instead of retyping things, you just select it, go um, type, go change case, uppercase. Quickly changes um, the type just like that, really simple. Now I'm just going to grab this, copy this across like that, and then select these, um, just drag, and you can drag a box around them. And then I'm holding Alt and Shift. And just copy them both like that. So now I'm just starting to get some structure. I'm starting to lay out where I want my titles and things to go. And so yeah, it's pretty simple, guys. So now I want to put maybe skills or expertise. Actually, we'll go contact. Expertise. Um, awards, education, and obviously if you don't have any awards or that type of thing, or you never went to school, you can replace it with something else. Maybe you can put goals if you want. Um, that's actually a good idea. I put goal. I like putting goals. It shows you have ambition. 
and shows you like have a direction where you're going. So I've got that. Um, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna put this social. Goals, awards, um, what else do we have? <coughs> Education, references. So those are all the main topics that we're going to use. And I'm just going to start going through here and make sure the type is all consistent. And we're using all, make sure you use one typeface because then it's going to look off. <coughs> also, I'm going to delete my swatches panel because I'm going to bring some new colors in because I don't like all these colors. You can just go select the show options, go select all unused, and then it's going to drop the delete button. And now it deletes all those. I want to go to low colors and I'm going to get a color from here. I've kind of like this palette here. It's got a nice black um, and a few blue, bluey, bluish grays. Um, so what you can do, you just double click and we can get the hex code. And I'm just going to add the hex codes in and then click for a new swatch. Just like that. And I'm going to do it for all these. And you can see I'm quickly starting to build a color palette. Just simple colors. You don't want more than three colors because you don't want to confuse um, your employer or your audience when you're giving them your resume. Make sure they're clean and they're consistent and they'll be readable. So we've got our our text and now we're just going to go through here. Um, and we've got our social icons. I'm just, I've got it in, I got this from Creative Market, some free icons. So I'm just going to paste these in. Make it a bit smaller. I actually deleted the text, so I'm just gonna go through here. Um, contact. Com. Just copy and paste it so it's just quick. And just put in obviously these are not real details, I'm just making it up. And just put in your most um, important details, something that's quick to contact you, your number. And your email. So you got that looking good. For the social icons, we're just going to use these. I'm just going to delete Twitter. Having social icons is good because it shows, you know, you're actually doing stuff online and you're actually producing content. So we can just do this. It's probably good to put the link there, but I'm just going to leave the icons there so they can search it up later if they really want to notice it. I'm just going to change the color. The blue. Just goes.
So we're just going through here, making changes, expertise, get rid of this. So we're just gonna build some bars. You don't want to have too much infographics, but just make sure it's like simple and clean. Some changes to a blue. Control C, Control F to paste that in front. So now we've got two bars. And I'm just gonna make this one smaller. I'm gonna make this one the gray, just like that. I'm just gonna move this towards the center. And what we can do, we can just hold Alt and Shift, drag it down, make sure there's enough spacing, and then we can just press Control D, and that will just copy it just like that. So now I'm just gonna get some text. Make sure there's gonna be enough space, so we might make this smaller. Probably better to have these on one line each so we can align it directly in the middle of these. But this will be fine for now. So I was just showing our expertise. And you can just select this with the direct section tool and then drag these out of what you're most confident in. Just to show in a quick visual way um, on your skills and that type of thing. So you do the same with all these other stuff, goals, rewards, education, references, and I'll check back, I'll speed the process up so you can see what the final result will be. So there we go guys, I finally finished this quick resume. Um, it's not perfect, but you know, uh, just try to keep it simple. Um, obviously if you spend more time on it, you can do a better version, but you can see how it just created some hierarchy using the titles, also breaking up the text with these um, lines, and just using some subtle color, and not going too harsh with it. Um, you can see how we've highlighted the main elements, um, our expertise um, with a brighter color with a blue and the social icons in case I want to check out, check out our work on there. Um, also create a hierarchy using <coughs> using one font but using different styles. So we've got italic, bold. Uh, make sure you bolden the things that um, matter most um, and make sure there's like it's easier to read through the text and keep the text short and um, sweet. Um, and you can see here I've got a lot of spacing. You can add icons here if you want, but I just kept it really basic, really simple. Um, and yeah, so that's all it is, guys. Pretty simple. Just using some text, a few icons, um, just line and shape, and just putting an image in. Really, this can have a bit more impact than doing a Word document um, and making it look too bland. Um, people will you know, notice this and be like, oh, this looks pretty cool, and they'll pick it up. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Leave me a comment below if you liked or hated this tutorial. And I'll appreciate if you guys can subscribe to this channel. And hope you have a great day.